The author Erica Berry explores the cultural and historical significance of wolves in a book titled Wolfish, Wolf, Self, and the Stories We Tell About Fear. This book is thought-provoking and covers multiple aspects of the topic. The book is a compilation of different types of writing, including the author's memoir, scientific findings, cultural criticism, and journalism. All of these are woven together with the author's personal experiences. Barry takes the reader on a journey through history, exploring the ways in which humans have constructed narratives around wolves and the ways in which those narratives have been used to reflect socio-political, environmental, and bodily fears. He does this by taking the reader on a journey through history. She focuses on one particular wolf, or seven, who left his pack in northeastern Oregon and went on a long-distance solo journey, and she weaves the story of his journey together with her own personal journey away from her home in Oregon. The author investigates the dichotomies of self and other, wild and domestic, as well as the relationship between predator and prey. She investigates how we can navigate a world that can be scary and how we can learn from wolves to survive the coming years of climate emergency. Her focus is on how we can learn from wolves to survive the coming years of climate emergency. Barry demonstrates that an awareness of environmental issues is not a luxury but rather a necessity, and that humans and wolves are not two distinct species. This book is a work of art in terms of its writing, as well as its research and presentation. Barry takes a one-of-a-kind approach, and her point of view manages to be both subjective and objective. Her writing has a lyrical quality that captivates the reader and gives them a sense of connection to the natural world and the wolves in it. This book is a welcome addition to the body of work that has been done on the subject of wolves. While it may not quite be on par with the works of Barry Lopez and Rick McIntyre, it does provide some fascinating new insights. The lessons that we learn about how wolves give us clues as to how we can survive the coming years of climate emergency are one of the most compelling aspects of the book. Barry makes a compelling argument for the need for ecological awareness and how we, as a species, need to learn from the wolves in order to survive. Overall, Wolfish is a book that anyone who is interested in cultural criticism, writing about the environment, or who is attempting to navigate a world that can be scary should absolutely read.